I'm gonna show you the easy way I make green enchiladas. I'm headed to the store and then I'm gonna start cooking. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna make the, or cook the chicken. Here I have my two chicken breasts. I'm gonna put that in the pot. To that, I'm going to add some cool water. This is like room temperature cool water. Uh, that was one liter of water. Now I'm gonna season and add some aromatics. These are optional things. A uh, small piece of onion one heaping tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder. Oops, <laughs> my son's mad and I almost made a mess. Okay, and just a little bit of Mexican oregano, two cloves of garlic, <laughs> and some epazote, that's optional. I just found some in my fridge. I'm gonna cover with the lid and once it starts to boil and simmer, uh, I'll remove the lid and just let it cook for about 25 minutes or so. The cook time will vary because I'm not working with super cold chicken, but if you're working with colder chicken, that will increase the cook time. Okay, so this is kind of gently boiling and simmering and the chicken is done. So I am going to shut off the heat and remove the chicken, let it cool slightly and then I'll shred it. And I am going to reserve the broth, it's very flavorful. Okay, so I'm going to get the chicken out and let it cool before I start to shred it. Um, I don't want to burn myself. <laughs> okay, that works. Okay, so I'm going to be using store-bought Salsa Verde. This is just a green salsa mild. I'm doing this, I, I could make mine from scratch, um, which I do all the time, but I do have a lot of viewers that can order this online or a green salsa, but they can't get fresh jalapenos or ingredients to make salsa. So this is why I'm showing you guys. If you don't have access to fresh ingredients to make salsa, you can, you know, order a jar of green salsa that might be more accessible to you. So I'm going to show you how I sort of doctor it up. I'm going to add my uh, salsa to my little pot here. And this is a large um, 24 ounce jar. They have smaller jars. Now I'm going to add just like a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder to the, the salsa. You really don't have to salt it, but I do want to, I don't know. I like the little chicken bouillon flavor in my salsa. And that's it. I'm just gonna let this simmer um, and warm through, and that's what I'll be using for the salsa today. But you definitely can make your own from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna make Mexican rice, and I've been toasting pre-rinsed long grain rice. It's a cup. If you guys want a more detailed video for Mexican style rice, I will put uh, a link in the description below. But this is where I want it to be. I'm going in with some fresh onion. Okay, so this is the garlic from when I boiled the chicken. I just kind of mashed it. I'm gonna mix that in. So I'm going to add, this is um, ground cumin seed and black peppercorn. So I'm going to go for all of it. Like a half teaspoon to a full teaspoon. It's up to you. Okay. I'm adding about four ounces of crushed tomato. This is half of a container. I 
I reserved the two cups of broth from the chicken going in. with a lid, bring to a simmer slash boil, lower the heat and cook for about 15 to 18 minutes. Don't lift the lid. Okay, I have my griddle preheating and I'm going to warm through the corn tortillas to make them kind of soft and pliable before I start filling them with the chicken. And it's not going to take very long. I'm not frying these crispy. I just want them softened and warm through. Oops. And that's it. And I'm just going to put them on the plate and repeat the process for the second one. There we go. Okay, so my salsa is simmering. I'm going to put that on. Let's put it on low. Does that work? Let's see. Okay, low. Just let that gently simmer. It stays hot because. I'm not going to reheat or cook the enchiladas once they're rolled. These are kind of warm. I put them, <laughs> I, re, uh, I heated these in oil, so they are still kind of hot. My chicken is shredded. I seasoned it with salt, pepper, onion powder. Here I have some um, finely diced onion, cotija cheese, a little bit of Mexican sour cream, and I'm going to put these together. Okay, so here I have my softened uh, and warmed corn tortilla. You could add cheese, like a melty cheese, and reheat it on your griddle with a little bit of oil. I'm going to go with just a light sprinkling of cotija cheese because it is salty. Pull that back, roll it out, repeat the process. I'm going to do like three. So we'll go with some of the chicken, a little bit of cotija. And you can also add a little bit of the green salsa in the mix. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this. I want this rolled a little differently. There we go. So, chicken. And I like to actually use a thigh meat, like the dark meat of the chicken, if I have it or if I think about it. <laughs> okay, so I got these. Okay, so I have my my warmed, simmering green salsa going right all over on top. I'll do a little bit and just kind of make sure everything kind of gets covered. Oops. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to top with a little bit of fresh onion. Going to go in with some crema. the hot cheese on top extra onion because I like it <laughs> now I'm gonna serve it with some rice okay so here's the rice I let it cook and set after it cooked I set it off the heat for about 10 minutes and now I'm gonna serve some and take a look at that so fragrant and aromatic I love it. Oops, made a mess. Okay. Dinner! So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching!